rain water harvesting is an essential subject to all of us in rain water harvesting and subsequent storage of the harvested water in underground aquifers one big difficulty is to remove the soil sediments from the rainfall runoff water for this purpose innovative sediment filtration technologies have been developed at tnau in most of the borewell recharge structures constructed in india a square or a circular deep pit is first dug in this pit many layers of stones are placed one over the other at the bottom most layer big boulders of 300 mm to 400 mm size are placed and then stones of 150 mm to 200 mm are placed over that a layer of pebbles or crushed stones of 30 mm to 40 mm is placed then a nylon mesh is placed to avoid the downward movement of the topmost sand layer around the pit a small brick wall is constructed to guide the run of water into the filter there are many disadvantages of this filter one is deep and huge pit digging is a costly work two is many layers of stone below the sand layer are not at all useful for filtering and the filtering layer is only the top sand layer the third issue is that since the sediment laden water is first exposed to the sand layer the clogging of sand layer occurs very rapidly this situation warrants frequent cleaning of the top sand layer the fourth issue is in relation to the construction of brick wall around the structure to arrest the erosion of sand this is a cost intensive job and for this issue we have found out a cost effective option the last issue but the most important issue is that the filtered water cannot be seen visually because the filtered water enters the bore well at a lower elevation in the casing pipe the tnau innovations have overcome most of these difficulties effectively now i am going to discuss first about vertical flow filter which was developed at tnau in the image you can see the actual installation of vertical flow filter in the field and also the sectional elevation of the vertical flow filter for the construction of the vertical flow filter a pit of diameter 2.1 meter is dug for a depth of 1.2 to 1.5 meter in the pit reinforced cement concrete rings are placed and all the joints between the cement rings are plastered with cement mortar on both inner and outer sides in the annular space between the cement rings and the inner wall of the pit 4 to 10 mm of crushed stones are placed on the ground surrounding the pit 20 to 40 mm crushed stones are placed inside the rcc rings a layer of reticulated polyurethane foam is placed on the pipe casing at least 20 numbers of 20 mm diameter holes are drilled through these holes in at least four of the holes 16 mm diameter ldpe pipes are inserted for a depth of 5 to 10 meters these ldpe pipes have the ability of accelerating the flow rate into the well due to the development of increased pressure head in the pipes when the rain falls rainfall runoff water passes through 20 to 40 mm crushed stones first and then passes through the 4 to 10 mm crushed stones vertically down and gets into the annular space between the foam and the inner wall of the rcc rings then finally the filtered water gets into the bore well through the holes and ldp pipes in the casing now i am going to discuss about the second filter developed at tnau the name of the filter is called as horizontal flow filter here you can see the cut section view of the filter and also the image of actual filter installed in the field 
primarily you can see that a pit of diameter of at least 3.6 meters and the most preferably 4.5 meters diameter pit with only 0.6 meter depth is dug at the periphery of the pit on the ground either crushed stones of size 20 mm to 40 mm or locally available larger stones are placed inside the pit 4 to 10 mm crushed stones are placed at the center of the filter a plastic tank of approximately 0.6 meter diameter and around 0.9 meter height is placed in the plastic tank a provision for flow through the bottom of the tank is provided a screen is placed at the center of the plastic tank which collects filtered water and the water is conveyed to either bore well or open well through a pvc pipe it is to be noted that this horizontal flow filter can be used for recharging the ground water through bore well or open well now i am going to discuss about the construction procedures those have to be followed sequentially in the field for vertical flow filter the first step is to dig a pit around the casing pipe for a diameter of 2.1 meter while digging the pit there is a common tendency to dig to a larger diameter of pit if you dig a larger diameter pit the cost will tremendously get increased it is better to make a 2 meter square pit for the desired depth the next step is to level the land at the bottom of the pit and place two or three numbers of concrete blocks at at least four locations then over the concrete blocks cement rings are placed then place 20 mm to 40 mm crushed stones at the outer periphery of the rings for 20 to 30 cm deep the joints in between the concrete rings both outside the ring and also inside of the ring must be plastered with cement mortar the 4 to 8 mm crushed stones must be properly screened and washed to remove the m sand available in the crushed stones the sand used must also be washed synthetic sand used in drip irrigation sand filter can also be used then on the 20 to 40 mm crushed stones place 4 to 10 mm crushed stones since the diameter of the pit made by us was larger than our requirement here you can see the filling of crushed stones is done with the help of side supports otherwise the quantity of crushed stones needed will be very high after filling the 4 to 10 mm crushed stones on the ground surrounding the pit 20 to 40 mm crushed stones are placed in this video we are seeing how 16 mm ldpe pipes are placed inside the casing pipe in the same way at least through four holes the 16 mm pipes can be sent down through the casing pipe these pipes tremendously increase the rate of flow through the casing pipe now you can see steps in making the supporting frame for fixing reticulated polyurethane foam the foam can be purchased in any foam shop the foam is available in different densities and in different thicknesses foams are available in different densities ranging from 10 kg per meter cube to even 500 kg per meter cube higher the density lower the size of flow passage we can use the density around 40 to 50 kg per meter cube depending on the quality of filtration needed more than one layer of foam can also be used more the number of layers more the quality of filtration as far as width of the foam is concerned 90 cm width is commonly available the foam is tied over the aluminum framework and a cotton cloth cover is also used along with the foam this cotton cloth cover 
is to prevent the excess water from directly going into the bore well. After the foam framework is placed over the casing pipe, at the bottom of the foam, soil is firmly pressed to prevent the water from going through the bottom way. If sand is available, sand for a depth of 30 to 45 cm can also be placed around the foam. If we do so, we can expect a very good improvement in filtration process. But keep in mind that M sand must never be used anywhere in the process. Then finally, a cover slab made of reinforced cement concrete or mild steel can be used to close the central concrete ring. Now we will see how a horizontal flow filter is constructed. First take a 200 liter plastic tank and at the center make 120 millimeter hole so that 110 millimeter pipe freely goes through. On the bottom sides of the tank make 4 to 6 holes of size 80 millimeter so that 75 millimeter pipe freely goes in. Then place the 75 mm T's with a 75 mm pipe bit. Then tie the net for each T to be placed inside the tank. This net is essential because during the backwashing of sand, the sand particles would get washed away. We can make a central water collection pot very easily using a 2 mm metal wire coated with plastic. These wires are available in hardware shops. When we want a spring to fit to a 110 mm diameter pipe, take a 90 mm diameter pipe and wind the wire over 90 mm pipe and remove the wire after winding. After removal of the wire, we get a spring. One end of the spring has to be connected to a piece of 110 mm pipe and the other end of the pipe is connected to an end cap. Over this part, a nylon screen is tied with ropes. A pit of diameter 12 feet to 15 feet must be dug like this. At the central portion of the pit, place few pans of 4 to 10 mm crushed stones so that the plastic tank can be placed easily. The pipe leading to the bore well or open well must have a good slope at least more than 2%. If the slope is less, there will be more tendency for the sediments to settle inside the pipe. Place the tank setup at the center and first fill up around the tank with larger 20 to 40 mm crushed stones. Then after that, fill up the entire pit with the 4 to 10 mm crushed stones and on the ground around the periphery of the pit place the 20 to 40 mm crushed stones. Inside the plastic tanks, fill up with the sand by providing proper support for the central spring screen setup. This completes the process of installing horizontal flow sediment filter. Mm -hmm.